Welcome to Bonnie Grows TV. We are here at New Dundas Park as we get the William Hill League 2 season underway. Bonnie Grows have started strongly in both seasons in League 2, but they won't have it easy against a strong Peterhead side that they have never beaten before. Six summer signings make up Cammy Light start 11 in goals Almost Mavardin, Tom Ritchie, Trent Hill, Sean Murphy, Callum Higginbottom, and Kim Somerville. Aaron Arnott back at Bonnie Grows from Wraith Rovers and Ben Scarborough from the party. And it'll be Peter Pollock to kick things off for Peter Head. It's a good forward pass, McAllister's in behind. McAllister goes with his left and it's caught by Ritchie. Rory McAllister, Peter Head's record scorer. That's the last man Rose wanted to see bearing down on goal. But Ritchie was the match to that effort. Young for Murphy, that's a nice spin from number six, slips it through for Scarborough, keeps it in on his weak right foot, comes to Higginbottom in the box, they can't get out of his feet, and it's saved in the end by Stuart McKenzie, that was a brilliant move from Rose. All starts with a spin from Murphy in the middle of the park, Scarborough gets it across his right foot, and Higginbottom, I don't think he was expecting it, it just falls to him in between his legs. Can't get it out of his feet, eventually it does, but it's a little too late. It's a bit... it's hit by Angus Mailer. And that one flies wide of the mark. I think he would have preferred that one on his right, but it was a good shooting opportunity for Rose. Good work from Forrest, here's Gold 8. Jack Brown keeps a hold of it. Barry gets on his left foot. It's a big save from Richie. McAllister was going to go for it. And he did foul a man in red and white in doom. So that's a big save from Tom Richie. The crowd respond with an applause for that one. Barry gets on his left foot. Richie gets down well. Scarborough for Curry. Back to Scarborough. The Curry going to look for a cross. That one. Doesn't get to the area where they've been looking for. Murphy has a go. And that one's four Stuart McKenzie into action. Peter Head might have been looking for a free kick just outside the area, but Murphy wasn't waiting for the whistle. He let it fly and forced the keeper into action just before the break. And the referee whistles for half time. Chances for both sides, not many of them, though. Bonner Egg Rose nil, Peterhead nil. And we're back on the way for the second half here at New Dundas Park. Curry, it's a shift away, it gets Murphy on the move. Murphy skips past his marker, continues forward here to Higginbottom. Gives it centrally to Arnott. Take the steady himself for the shot. And he fires that one wide of the mark on the volley. Bagged a few goals in Rose's pre-season friendlies and he almost opened his scoring account for the season there. Forrest does well to spin away from his market. Now Armstrong. Gives it wide to Dunn. Dunn gets past Wardell. Sends in the cross, it's flicked on, arm at the back post! And Richie can't keep it out. And the new signing from Stranraer gets off to the perfect start at his new club. A late, late goal in the dying embers of the game. And the travelling Peterhead fans have something to celebrate. But it goes back to Richie. I'm going to look at it underneath that one. <laughs> and 
Angus Miller has been shown a red card after a collision. It's late drama at the end here at New Dundas Park. Forrest with the high ball. And the referee calls an end to this one. It's a late win for Peterhead. Ben Armour signed from Stranraer this summer with the goal in the 90th minute. And just to add to the late drama, Angus Mayle was shown a straight red card by the referee. It's full time here at New Dundas Park. Burnerick Rose nil. Peterhead 1. Calm, a hard way to lose at the end. Uh, what did you make of the performance as a whole? For, for, for large periods, like we like were the better side. Um, again, we probably just lacked a little bit of cutting edge quality when it like, matters. Um, for, between both boxes, we were really good, we were strong, we were competitive. Um, they had maybe a five, ten minute spell in the second half where they were on top, but like, apart from that, you know, I thought it was a, a body blow at the end, like, to be honest with you. Um, we switched off, like, not, we never tried to like, the runner um, out wide, and then again, we've just like, been punished. It's, I don't know how the guys like stand in the middle of the box, but again, that's something that we need to certainly rectify because it happened last week and it's happened again this week so like we have to be more ruthless at the other end and make sure that we are um, switched on for the full game at the other end. Yeah, there was a scary looking collision at the end, Gus was shown a red card, how did you see it? It's difficult to tell obviously from like, where I was but obviously the referees like, sent him off so um, we'll look at it and decide whether or not like, we can appeal it because it just looked like two two guys going for the like the same ball. The ball's bounced. He's got there first. I don't think it was dangerous play, but um, as I said, we we'll just need to look it back and see see what's um, how it looks. It's hard to lose a key player through a suspension, but is that a chance for others to step up the next few games? Ah, of course, I. Um, you know, that's what we've got. Like we, are, like we have lost a couple of bodies this week, um, so like, we've got like a competitive squad. Like the boys, like in the squad. Like we, we need to step up and we need to we need to kick on. Like we want to improve. Like we're so close to being like a really really good side, and it's the hardest steps, the next step, which is to get there. So it's it's like trying to make sure that we work on that in training. And obviously, if the right player comes available, then like we're ready to go. Cheers, Carl. Cheers, thank you.